Hello and welcome to French Cheeks Top Tip Video. I'm Craig Phillips, the brand ambassador. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare surfaces ready for painting. Now, due to the wide range of paints French Cheek make, there's a variety of different materials that you can paint onto. I've just picked a small selection, whether it's metal, whether it's a veneered door on a kitchen unit, whether it's UPVC, this could be your fascia boards, your soffit boards, your windows, your front or back door, wooden trims, plywood, rough sawn timber, smooth timber, soft wood, and already painted pieces, plus hardwood, and even varnished and shiny surfaces like this second hand piece of furniture. But the preparation is all quite similar. It needs to be cleaned down using sugar soap and then sanded so the new paint adheres to the surface. So we start the order of preparation off by cleaning the item down. I've got my concentrated sugar soap. I've diluted this down by one to 10. So it's one part sugar soap and 10 parts warm water. I'm gonna use a sponge, get plenty of that on, and then I'm gonna to start to wash the entire item making sure that there's no grease, grime, oil, nicotine, anything that could have soaked into the surface on here over the years. And the sugar soap will just start to lift all of that off. Now it's important not to rush the preparation work because every stage of it is quite important. And it doesn't take long at all. I often say, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. The process of cleaning the item with sugar soap will also help the paint adhere. Now, just a couple of minutes of cleaning this item up, and you can already see how dirty that water is. Years of grime building up onto that surface. Now I feel I've cleaned all the grime off, I'm going to rinse it just with some clean, warm water. Once you've rinsed off all the sugar soap, it'll be squeaky clean. So now I've rinsed it, I'm going to take some dry cloths and give it a good drying off to make sure it's bone dry. Perfect. Now it's dry, it's ready to start sanding. Now this particular item has got a varnish on it. I don't know whether it's a water-based or an oil-based one. So when I'm sanding it, I'm going to use a dust mask. Now when I come to sand it, I'm only using a very fine sanding sponge. Once you've finished sanding it down, use a dry cloth to clear off all the dust off the surfaces before you start painting. So now you've cleaned, sanded and dusted your item off, have a close look all over it. And particularly looking at the edges and the corners for instance, because over the years they often get knocked. And you might have the odd little chip out of them like this one here. Now you've got two options. You can sand them down with a more coarse sandpaper and dust them off of course, and then you lose them or leave them there to retain the character. So that's your preparation complete. All you've got to do now is paint it. If you're looking for some more ideas and inspiration, why don't you join in the chat on the French Heat Fan Forum on Facebook or visit the website frenchheatpaint.co.uk.